So the argument I'm, I hear from Kevin DeYoung and I hear from other folks on social media is, yes, restitution is eminently biblical and right, but when you are multiple generations removed from both the perpetrators and the immediate victims of the injustice, then it gets too muddled and there, there's no way of equitably determining guilt and reparation. How do you respond to that? It's simply an arbitrary claim that he is making that um, that a, a generation or multiple generations absolves us of, of obligation. That is biblically and theologically false. He just he just asserts that he doesn't defend it. We said that actually Kevin modeled three tendencies which are related. The first is a spiritualizing tendency, which is say, we're going to talk about just theology and we're not going to talk about history or economics and politics. We're just going to talk about theology. And his big argument against reparations is that it is a threat to the, the Christian doctrine of justification because it leaves white people in a form of moral guilt. We're talking about this social and cultural reality. You're conflating th that particular kind of moral and historical debt with another theological and eternal debt, which are not unrelated, but they're not the same. Look, one of the ways that American conservatives and American conservative evangelicals, of which I am one, have consistently distanced themselves from any real implications or um, in, in America's uh, racial history of being implicated in that is by calling people who come who are pushing on them, calling them either un-American or un-Christian. As soon as black people start talking about liberation, white Christians start talking about Marxism. This is straight out of J. Edgar Hoover's playbook. OK, critical race theory has been around since the 1980s. Why is it all of a sudden that every uh, thought leader in the uh, in the evangelical world is suddenly uh, suddenly concerned about critical race theory? Well, because George Floyd got killed and people said we're done with this and we're going to we're going to take down white supremacy in America. So suddenly, rather than participating in that work in a redemptive way, American Christians have decided that the real issue is not white supremacy, but it's critical race theory, which is apparently and allegedly another religion. This is an old play out of an old playbook. And I think it's exactly right. The, the fact that we would be accused of not believing the gospel or creating a new original sin, it's absurd. It's totally absurd. <laughs>